All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the videos. It's wonderful to have you here again as always. So today in this video, I'm gonna dive into this uh, throttle body as you would have seen in the previous video. Uh, I guess I guess I can just show you guys, can't I? Um, yeah. So as you saw in the last video, we got the notches solenoid uh, all wired up as well as the relay. Button it all up nice and neatly. You can barely even tell that it's there. <clears throat> so I'm really happy with that. However, I have had to rob the output in the ECU for the boost controller for the nitrous. Um, in the dyno video, as you would have heard me say that I've pissed off the idle air control valve. I still haven't been able to figure out what it is. It, something seems to be triggering it to just default to 50%, which is why it, it idles up. Um, it only seems to do it after a drive. So I figure it's probably something to do with the VSS or something or other. Um, but I have had the idea for a while of blocking that off and just using ignition control for the idle. Uh, as when I was testing that throttle body, that's what I was using. And it actually seemed to work really well. With the bigger throttle blade, it seems to be getting enough air and the ignition has a pretty big effect on uh, on the idle speed. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do today. I'm going to get that throttle body off. Yeah, I'm going to get that throttle body off. I've got this uh, taper type of thing. Uh, I'm going to trim it down to length and try and put it in there like i said in the last video i want to try and do it a way that's not permanent so i've come up with this we'll see how it'll work for now uh, i might even put a hole in it and thread a bolt or something or other and try and get it in there permanently anyway oh, that's what i should have done Cool. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get that throttle body off and I'll cut back to you guys once I got it off and on the bench. That's a bit better, I guess. I've got a bit of room to work me up. Okay. So.
All right, I'm gonna get this thing fired up. See how it wants to go with that. Control, spark control. Yeah, spark control. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Suppose. Oh, good, that's not active. Sweet, so idle, idle valve, disable, try that, get ignition control, just pump a little bit more timing into it, alright, let's fire up and see what happens. Give it a fistful of that. Oh, I can't lose that nitrous jet. And then I can always bring that back down. Temperature in it. Alright, so it's starting to get a bit of temperature in it now. It's getting to, what are we at? 
77 degrees and the ignition angle is basically zero so it's pulling all the timing out of it to bring the idle down going to be a problem. Yeah, well, I guess I'll hold off before I go and use those pinouts. Um, I don't know, there's still a couple of options I have. I can either go over to an electronic throttle body. Um, but I've already got my Wiggins clamp welded on there, so I'll have to cut that off mold it on to the electronic throttle body or uh, I can go and reconnect the idle air control valve 
and then uh, just buy the input output expander box. So I'm not sure which way I'm going to go about it. What I might do uh, is come out when the car's cold again, give it a cold start, see how it is uh, with the cold start, and then maybe take it for a drive, see what it's like on the road. It seems like it'll be all right, um, but idling in a shed and driving out on the street are two different things. And then I'll kind of make my decision from there. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think I should do, but that's basically where I'm going to end this video here today, guys. Um, yeah, should I just save up, fork out the money, get the expander box, put the idle air control valve back on it and try and find out why it was defaulting to 50%, which I could probably find with a bit of digging in amongst the map, or do I leave it as it is and give it a try, or do I save up and buy that input output expander box, or go to drive by white throttle? I'll probably made my decision by the time this video goes up, and we'll have already tested it and tried something. So. I guess you guys will see a video about that. Um, but yeah, as far as today's video goes, uh, goes guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and yeah, don't forget to unleash the boost, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. All right, um, it's the next day. Uh, the car's cold, we'll start her up and uh, have a see what she's like cold start. Well, cold start with no idle air control anyway. <laughs> Steering wheel shape. 
bad. And it usually doesn't take it usually doesn't take too long once I'm I'm driving it to get some temperature in it anyway. I don't know. leave it there I think and um, I'll go and have a bit more of a think about it what I'll probably do is take it out for a drive see what it's like how long it takes to warm up what it's like when it sits for a half an hour an hour or so things like that All right. I guess I got some thinking to do.